Yes, guys. It's been a long while. NKCK Beast, I all day long rep for the Lord, guys. I know, I know, I know. Where have you been? Where have you been? Guys, third year kicked my ass. I finally found out that I'm finishing uni. I'm graduating in December because I went to America. I missed one of my assignments without even knowing. And then when I was about to do my summer assignments, I looked in, in my assignment box and I clocked that I missed it. I had to do it in August, but by the grace of God, I passed. I'm graduating in December in Jesus' name. We thank God. But yes, guys, today's video is about how I graduated. I, I mean, how I finished uni. How I made it from first year to third year without knowing how to cook. Number one, you're going to be skinny like me. There's no way you're going to make it throughout three years of uni of not knowing how to cook without you losing weight. Uni is where you lose weight. If you don't know how to cook uni is where you start questioning you know maybe i should have learned how to cook the times when my mom was telling me come into the kitchen help me with this help me with that and you're saying nah because you have a sister your sister is doing most of the job maybe i should have stood by the um pots and the pants because now look guys look I've, I've i don't even know what i was when i went into uni but i know i've gotten skinnier and i was skinny deep in. guys every day i'll eat brioche Orange juice or coconut um juice from coconut water from flipping Audi. I'll be down in it, 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 down in it. Every day, guys. Eggs, white rice. There's a delicacy in, in Ghana called um Angwamo, which is um rice with oil and eggs. Guys, stew, simple stew. I didn't know how to make. It was only third year that I started taking food from home, guys. Just deep there what the circumstances i'm in i only started bringing food from home to my university to store in a freezer in third year and i done it towards the end of uni why didn't i do it at the beginning because i couldn't be bothered to laziness is a sin and you will suffer you pick the consequences guys i was hungry throughout uni there's times where bro you know by the grace of god yeah i was able to have money throughout every single you know day so i was calm in it but you know, it got to a point where because I couldn't cook and in Nottingham, a lot of things close earlier apart from McDonald's and if you eat McDonald's every day, I promise you, you're going to get tired of it. It gets dark. When people are eating good food, like you need where you cook that, like takeaway food is actually plastic. Like I ate takeaway so much that when I ate McDonald's, when I ate Nando's, when I ate Domino's, it felt like poo. It tastes like, guys, I've done a shared accommodation in my third year. They were shocked when they saw me in the kitchen. They never saw me in the kitchen. My fridge was always empty. It got to a point where people were putting their food in my shelf. There's food that, I bought frozen food. I never touched it. Why? Because I was too busy buying chicken and chips. <sighs> McDonald's, Domino's, that's all I knew. It's, look. If you want to survive uni without cooking, I'm telling you right now, it, you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer because that brioche, orange juice and coconut water, waffles, eggs, eggs is bad for the every day. I'm going to I'm far in. It smells. I don't like going out because my body's not energized. It's like, it was, it was bad. I thank God for my mom, bro. Sometimes you just have to come home, you eat, you just remember that God is good. Just, it got to a point where I felt my hairline was even suffering because of my lack of dietary. If you, if you check what affects your hairline, I think dieting is part of my hairline is suffering. You know, I never told anyone this, but you know, one of the reasons why, the reason why I cut my hair, now I'll tell you guys the truth, where, why I went bald is because my hair here was thinning. It's still thinning it, but it was thinning badly. So I cut it off in the hopes that when you grow back, it will be bolder, isn't it? That could be more thicker, sorry. But, I mean, it's better. But it's dieting. Dieting, the food that you, the, the, you need the right nutrition in your body. You need the right nutrition in your body. I'm telling you right now. Otherwise, you are going to suffer. You will suffer. And with me, I'm not the type of person to be going and asking girls. University girls can't cook. They can't cook. I'm so sorry. I mean, they can cook to a certain extent, but the flavouring and all of it, they're yet to get it right. So don't even think about having a uni wife. Your belly will run. 
because their their belly is used to a way of how their mama done their food so now the, the, how they made the food they so the season they're putting in no 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 with me i don't touch girls food like i'm not gonna come to you and be like yeah um please um cook for me uni wife was none of my business bro i didn't care about having a uni wife i made sure that bro is if i eat take away or i take my mom's food bro these girls i mean it's not that they can't cook but it's hard to find a girl that can cook i mean there was this one Ghanaian girl in nottingham i will shout her out julian jules cooks cooked by jules she's Ghanaian. very she can cook i'll give it to a good um jollof rice it was good it was, i'll give it to her you know what i mean um yeah like i'll give it to her but obviously i went to university in nottingham guys oh chicken cottage mcdonald's just filth filth how can you be happy your that you if your diet is happy you'll be happy as well all of these things affect your mood do you understand? Yes, you can, you know, have a good relationship with God already. But your diet also affects your energy levels, how you are, how you react to certain things. Because if you're not energized, you're more likely to not be in a mood. Guys, I'm not recommending that anyone tries what I did. Do not do this at home. Don't do this in university. By the grace of God, I've been, my life has been preserved. Because when I got to A1 University, because of the lack of nutrients in my body, the way I suffered, somebody's got to be crazy. Actually, there's this one amazing Nigerian girl. She went to my church. She cooked for me once. Her food was good. There was also another girl. Her name started with E. She cooked for me. Her food was good. I'll give it, actually, I'll give it to them. But apart from that, oh my God. Guys, it got to a point where when my roommates, like when my housemates were stealing my food, it doesn't matter because I don't even use the ingredients. I will buy the ingredients in the beginning of the week and lie to myself that I'm going to cook. And guess what I will do? I will just leave it there. It, it's tough, but I survived. I done it. Three years in education. Look at me. I'm trying my best, guys. I've been going gym. <laughs> it's not easy. It's not. Don't try this in university. Don't try. Don't. Don't try and make a girl cook for you. I spit on you if you do that. Sorry. Sorry. Let me take it easy. But anyways, guys. I'm going to end the video here. But yeah, guys. That's how I survived three years without knowing how to cook. Just take away. Sometimes I'll eat, sleep for dinner. Sometimes, you know... Oh, I did. I'll cook one. I'll, I'll call one of my closest female friends or something that you know they they just about know how to cook. Actually, there's a girl called Rebecca. Rebecca, hair lounge, beauty lounge, and she's very good at cooking. I'll give it to her. She made some fufu. I ate it. You know, beautiful girl. My, my good friends. My good sis. But apart from that, guys, stay blessed. Don't stress. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's get to 100 likes. 50 comments. Send this to your friend. Sorry, guys. Let me actually show you. Yeah. On a big man thing, though, guys, please don't be like me. Don't starve yourself. Just cook. Okay? God bless you. Thank you for watching. I hope you will have an amazing day. This video was actually kind of quick and nice. But yeah, I appreciate everyone that watched this video, man. You know. But yeah, genuinely, guys, please, 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 please. Learn how to cook. Um, there's, 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 there's. There's, what do you call it? Oh, what's that? What's that food place? Their their refreshment place. Hello Fresh. I think they're doing like five meals for like twenty pounds. Just just do that, bro. Get some pre oven food, guys. I tried to do that. I can't lie. I just couldn't bother. I was lazy as well. I'll be honest, isn't it? But don't be like me. Be a better version of me, because I'm telling you right now. Do not try this in university. Otherwise, you'll cry. <sighs> With me, I've been I'm used to not eating. But now I'm feeling the effects of it because now I get hungry randomly because of my poor diet. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Guys, I'm going to be more active, man. I'm active on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere. Follow me, NKTV Power. Make sure you follow my Twitch, NKTV Power Free. Shout out all the man them. Shout out the girl them that will watch this. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. NKCKB star all day long.
rap for the love. Somebody's gotta be crazy. Bye.